Hey Refuge City Church, this is Pastor Jimmy here. I'm with Pastor Jim and uh, it's Monday, March the 23rd and uh, we have some updates for you regarding the new Oregon mandated stay at home law that has gone into effect to kind of curb the advancement of the coronavirus. Um, we're watching the situation very carefully and we understand that it has ramifications for our church body here. So we've got some info that we're gonna bring you today. And so, um, Pastor Jim. You bet. So one of the things that we wanted to make you aware of is obviously with the new mandate and the six foot rule and kind of the order to stay at home, the offices will be closing effectively this afternoon and uh, we will reopen when that mandate and that order has been um, relinquished or removed. Uh, we will still be functioning as uh, normal. We're gonna be working from home and doing things um, to connect with you, make phone calls with you. You can still call into the church office. Um, please call into the church office um, if you need some assistance or um, have any questions. We'll be checking that once a day and then uh, sending out individuals and people um, for that and with that. So please, uh, please make note of that. Um, Pastor Jimmy was so complimentary today in staff and um, I'll let him take that just on all the comments that we got and the people that watched online. And it was amazing to me just the response. Um, yeah. You know, hundreds of you joined us yesterday on our YouTube and are continuing to those that are able to uh, archive later on. We really appreciate that. Um, I'm happy to report you guys have been faithful um, with your tithes, your giving. Thank you for that. That's really important. We want to keep the church strong. Um, we really feel like, uh, you know, we've heard a lot of things talking about how uh, this whole lockdown is persecution against the church and all that kind of thing. And we really don't feel like that's the case. I mean, this lockdown is affecting everybody. It's the affecting world. all faiths. It's yeah. affecting hundreds of countries. In fact, you know, reports of over 140 some odd countries that are being impacted by the virus itself. Um, is it being blown out of proportion? We don't know. We're gonna go ahead and choose to honor our state, local, and our federal. And err on the side um, of caution. Yeah, we're we gonna to err on the side of caution. We're gonna honor our state Good officials. Word. And we really want to encourage you to really remove yourself from the, the, the opportunity that we all find ourselves in to bash on our elected officials and all of that kind of thing. Speak honor, speak Amen. peace, Amen. speak grace. Do everything that you can to Good speak word. the hope and the love and the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's so, I don't know, um, you know, I, I do know how you feel about this pastor, but I, and I feel like I can speak on your behalf that Go we on. can so quickly uh, completely erode our Christian witness yes, we can. by bashing people and then trying to witness. So I don't know why I felt led to say that other than just to encourage you, church, be the salt and the light of the world. Um, choose to withdraw from conversations that are going to bring dishonor and engage in conversations that bring honor. And we choose, in fact, even this morning, just praying over our state, praying over our government here in the United States and specifically asking God to heal our land, Amen. repenting and asking God to heal our land. He says in Second Chronicles 7.14 that if we will do that and we'll turn from our wicked ways, they'll heal from, hear from heaven and he'll oh, heal Lord. our land. And I think there's no greater so time than right now for him to do that. And so please be about that business. This is time for us to shine. So the other thing that we wanted to make you aware of is kind of how this looks as far as what we've got online going right now. So we wanted to make you aware of the fact that um, as far as the Wednesday night Bible study with Pastor Warren, we're still going to be presenting that. Um, that'll be um, prepared for you and ready to go online 7 o'clock on Wednesday nights. And we're still on a really small scale because we want to keep the six foot um, mandate that's been ordered um, in alignment. So Pastor Jimmy's going to be trimming the worship team. Um, we are going to have a special uh, Sunday message for you this week. Um, so please uh, tune in for that. We're going to be live again at 9 o'clock. You can watch that after any time that you would like to, but we're definitely going to be live at 9 o'clock as normal. And we just want to continue to um, keep you connected and keep you informed to the best of our ability. A lot of this is kind of free-flowing, and we're just having to be um, kind of go with the flow, to be very honest with you, with uh, changes and things like that. Anything else that you think we need to clarify, Pastor Jimmy? I, I think that that's great. I just wanted to um, encourage you with this. The, the Bible says that when we seek him, we will find him. Mm -hmm. And this is the time not to walk in fear, not to be walking so in good. panic, but to really be, I, I, I really have seen the church as the, the capital C church, the whole church around the world as being the pillar that the world needs. And if the church is in panic, then we are not available to be used of God as an agent of peace. And so I just want to read for you. I have it written down here. So if you see me look down, that's why. But this is Psalm 91, verse 2 and 3. It says, I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge yes, he and is. my fortress. He's our refuge and he's our fortress. He's my God in whom I will trust. These are very declarative statements. This isn't, I hope he's gonna be there for me. I hope that I can trust him. No, I will trust the Lord. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Read all of Psalm 91, it'll bless your heart. Meditate on God's word, spend time praying, pull your kids together, pull your family together, and speak the love and the light and the life of Christ into them and dispel fear. This is the time for the family to strengthen, for the hope of Christ to be released. This is your moment. So one of the things too that we wanted to clarify, we've had a lot of ideas and we want those creative ideas coming in. Thank you, by the way, thank you for your giving. Um, Mm -hmm. God is just really blessing and we're gonna use those funds um, um, in, in disbursement. Um, there's been some question about food and helping people and lots of creative ideas on care packages going out to some of our shut-ins and elderly. And um, so thank you for, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for staying faithful in your giving. We are going to be able to utilize that and, and make this place a storehouse, Martha's pantry, lots of things like that. So continue to be faithful in that and continue to give us your ideas. Um, obviously with this new um, stay at home thing, Uh, We're trying to navigate that and find out our legal ramifications with that. But we want to be a place, a refuge, where people can come and um, get food and get aid and get their needs met. And so, again, thank you for your giving. Thank you for going online and giving. And we just want to continue to be Refuge City Church. And like Pastor Jimmy said, above all, the big C, the church as a whole, all churches, representing Jesus Christ as a light to to a world that needs us shining like we've never shined before. God bless you, and we hope that you have a great afternoon and evening.